to now. Okay, so this video is entitled How to Increase Your Odds for, Enlight for Enlightenment by 10,000%. Um, it sounds like, um, I realize that sounds like a strange title, but I'll explain it. And I'll explain my suggestions as well, which of course you're free to follow or not follow. I mean, it's totally up to you. Okay, so the 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 key ingredient why that I mean I could I won't I, I don't want to talk for two or three hours but anyway, so muscle testing or kinesiology, um and uh, which um, Dr Hawkins did with his wife Susan, uh, uh, and he was the main thing, and it is actually a revolution in being able to avoid all the pitfalls in spirituality and go straight to enlightenment without taking any detours. Now, it's okay to take detours if you, if people want to visit the detours. I mean, that's up to them. But if you don't want to visit the detours and you want a map that is verified of teachers or paths of what are the traps at each of the levels um, and how someone shares their experience going through all of the different traps, um, all the way up to enlightenment and has done research on others and how they fall and uh, on books and teachers, then um, through the muscle test, if you um, calibrate everything and lay out a path, and Hawkins, I guess he did about 30, 40 years of muscle testing, his, his role was, um, I would say, of an avatar to help, to give a map, um, a roadmap for students to easily get to enlightenment without falling, without taking any detours, um, with um, checking everything kinesiologically to make sure. And he's done the work and it's in his books. I'll try and go over it in this video and other videos, which are the books and tapes and places to go. But if that was available and you wanted to be enlightened, then um, that's available. And, you know, through, I think he checked it out kinesiologically. If you study his works and follow his works, your odds of in, uh, reaching enlightenment are increased by 10,000. And I'll explain some of the reasons. Well, let me quickly, before I get sidetracked, um, I'll just quickly say what are the key points to do? Well, his, basically his books, videos and audios um, to immerse yourself in them nonstop. That's it. So that's in a nutshell what I recommend. Uh, I essentially recommend anyone who wants to fast track themselves um, is to get uh, go to his website, veritaspub.com. And if you can afford it for $20 a month, get a subscription to his videos. And you can watch all his videos he ever recorded, all his seminars, nonstop, every month, as much as you want. And I recommend um, you put them on nonstop and watch them all. And you read his books and listen to his stuff on Audible. Now, there's certain things if you're facing certain problems where he goes over things like pain or facing um, the void or uh, facing fear or, or or resentments, whatever it is, he goes over that. But anyway, otherwise, there's a general roadmap and he's done all the hard work for you. He's verified it all through muscle testing. Now, here's the thing, like um, a lot of people would say, well, you know, why not? Why not go around and explore things? Well, <clears throat> if you look at his works, it does seem like, and my, my guess is that about over 90% of spiritual teachers fall. And um, if you calibrate um, the books, most people's spiritual library, you'll probably find a lot of them calibrate negative, the ones you thought were good or entertaining. So what does that mean? Um, well, so what? So what if the if half the books or more than half the books or seventy five percent of the books in my house calibrate negative and I reread them? What if I go to spiritual teachers and they calibrate negative, but I listen to them? So what? Well, there is a problem, um, and that is um, when you check with muscle testing, anything that makes your body go weak actually blows out your meridians and makes you. Uh, align with negative attractor fields, which then attract to you um, the negativity on those attractor fields until you recalibrate to a positive calibrate, calibration field. 
it does go on about ways of recalibrating up to the positive. But do you really want to blow yourself out, blow your acupuncture meridian without reading negative books and watching teachers and listening to material? Well, you might say, why not? Well, for example, listening to an advert, I think Hawkins calibrated, it would blow out your acupuncture meridians on average about 17 times. It's lied to you and programmed you with false beliefs. That's just watching an advert. So watching a spiritual teacher program you with negative beliefs is, you know, also not going to be helpful. Um, and um, so now you might say, well, why not? Well, you know, hmm. we know this from the 12 steps as well. When you're not connected spiritually, your life becomes unmanageable. It's like bad luck hits you. You fall down, you hurt your back. Um uh, um, you're not you're not spiritually connected. You choose the wrong plumber, the wrong builder. Um, you make the wrong investment choices. Um, you know you start to date the wrong person. Um, all kind while you're in a disconnected, negative, reversed field, all your decision making and your capacity to be attracted by divine orchestrating fields, it, it, you're not there because you've just blown yourself up. So, I mean, a, a simple example is looking at a picture of Jesus Christ and Adolf Hitler. If you look at um, the picture of Jesus Christ, you, your body goes strong. If you look at a picture of um, Adolf Hitler. Now, if you were to paste your wall full of Adolf Hitler pictures and have a library of Adolf's books on your thing, just looking at them and reading them um, is blowing out, you know, it's going to, you're going to, eventually start it you potentially be eventually attracted and you blow your meridians out and um, you might uh, resonate at the conscious level of fear anger shame guilt uh, 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 revenge all of these attractive fields and you have thoughts aligned with those and you'll start to align with groups teachers and people that are in alignment with that so it's actually um i myself um, uh, would want a teacher that calibrates positive and I wouldn't want any books actually or pictures in my house that are um, going to blow out my acupuncture meridians now problem with the spiritual seeker is you know they'll go well I can't do kinesiology and I don't know a good one well if that I mean if you know a good one then you are a very very lucky person extremely lucky but if you don't I mean, Hawkins has calibrated everything for you, so you don't need to have a, a kinesiologist. So the other, next thing is how to increase your um, odds. Well, there's been, um, in the past, there's only been three avatars that reached 1,000. Um, and um, that was Buddha, uh, Jesus Christ, and Krishna. And uh, Hawkins, if you read some of his books and more or less calibrating at a thousand he said there was about one person at about a, at around a thousand alive he didn't say it was him but it's kind of obvious um so if you want to get to enlightenment the highest level of enlightenment you'd want the highest calibrating teacher i mean uh it's like why would i want someone i mean i mean you don't have to i mean and you could say argue of course that for certain students, it's appropriate to get a lower teacher. And that's also fine. And Hawkins has calibrated a list of teachers from the 400s on up to um, 1,000. So you can choose teachers which have been calibrated and verified from Hawkins' list, which is available in the book uh, Truth Versus Falsehood. So, um, so first of all, if I want to get to the highest level of enlightenment, it's obvious it would be Hawkins. Uh, now, why not? Jesus Christ or Buddha or Krishna? Well, I would say that they are, they are excellent teachers to, to follow. Um, however, their, their words and their manuscripts have the potential that you're reading to have been distorted over hundreds and thousands of years. Um, for example, um, when Hawkins calibrated in the King James's Bible, it's saying Jesus on the cross saying, why have you abandoned me, God? That calibrates as negative, whereas the Aramaic version calibrates, um, which where Jesus Christ doesn't say, why have you abandoned me? That calibrates as positive. So you see, um, reading um, 
and there's also mistranslation in Buddhism around uh, the void, making people think that the void is the is infinite silence with the absence of love, which is also an error. Um, so uh, some schools of anyway negation and Buddhism. Um, so there are errors, but Hawkins is a current modern day teacher with videos recorded more or less at the highest level. So you're going to get you're going to get the words of an enlightened teacher that's verified um, and hasn't been distorted by human beings over hundreds and thousands of years. So you read the wrong thing, even though the teacher is right. So I would, you know, and I would, you know, personally, I'll go into this in future videos. I'd surround myself with books and music. Uh, I mean, for example, Alleluia by Robert Gass calibrates at the level of enlightenment. I would listen to that in the background. I wouldn't listen to gangster rap music. And that would blow my acupuncture meridians out and tune me to a negative energy field, factor field. So um, it's obvious. Um, the fast track for me would be, um, um, unless you want, you have access to kinesiologist, you don't, um, you can then get it fine-tuned for you as a spiritual seeker. But um, so if, if um, so many of the teachers fall, you know, um, the great thing, and I'll keep sharing about this, um, is humanity's greatest thing is is it's not able to discern truth from falsehood. It's ignorant. It's blind. It doesn't it, when it, or it often thinks something is good and it chooses the bad. Uh, uh, so it hasn't got that um, spiritual capacity. It's a world where most human being part of the human condition is it doesn't have very evolved spiritual discernment. So it'll, it'll choose the wrong teachers, the wrong books, the wrong uh, films to watch, the wrong TV. Um, and often, actually, the ego is attracted to negative attractive fields because that's what it lives on, um, the drama of various uh, places and situations and music. So immersing yourself, uh, watching Hawkins nonstop, he calibrates at around 1,000, listening to him nonstop, reading his books, and uh, I would avoid, you know, unless, and personally, you know, I don't want my meridians blown out by looking at and listening to a wrong teacher. Not a wrong teacher, that's the wrong words. Uh, I'll probably get some flack. For a teacher that's calibrating below integrity, it's not wrong. there's no wrong or right in, in the world. But I don't, want to I don't want to listen to a teacher that calibrates below integrity and tune into energy fields and vibrate at energy fields below integrity. You know, I'll probably bang my foot, have all kinds of headaches and get into um, all kinds of uh, uh, limiting thoughts. So in a nutshell, um, I will be doing future videos, but I'll, I'll leave it there for this video. And I'm going to press stop in a second.